Digitalization, it's a very much used buzzword these days. But truly what I think it should mean and what it means for us and for a certain large part of the industry is to conceive one's company beyond its physical asset and to think about it as a data company. What does it really mean? What it means is really the ability to extract from data a lot of actual information. Actual information that ultimately can be used in a wide, wide spectrum of the whole industry. All uh, encompassing not only, uh, let's say, items like cybersecurity, which is very much another buzzword, but really all the way from grid integration and system integration, all the way to optimization of assets. That is all through all the operational value streams of any kind of company. We're far beyond that point. I mean, if uh, we're thinking about uh, just an IT cost center, we're obviously not conceiving digitalization as it should be. I think digitalization today should be conceived uh, no, no different than any other major C-suite or CEO uh, initiatives that are really profit-driven. And that really makes a difference. When we conceive digitalization as a means of providing true actionable uh, items that can reduce cost, enhance revenue, then I think you're heading on the right direction of what digitalization means and should mean today. Uh, in the wind industry supply chain, digitalization has been present for a long time. Uh, what we see now, there's an exponential growth in it. And uh, let's say that we started with big data several years ago, where we, through sensors in the industry, were able to capture a wide load of data that ultimately allowed us, uh, with a window of three to 12 months, to act upon uh, the assets, uh, being able to prevent failures in the machines and therefore kind of optimizing our cost throughout the operation of the machine. Today, uh, digitalization, thanks to the incorporation, the fusion of data science with material science, suddenly we are able not only to have a visibility of uh, three to five years, which can therefore bring much more value throughout the whole enterprise, uh, throughout different value streams, such as inventory management, supplier management, asset management, beyond and over about the operation maintenance, and including uh, the ability to increase revenue by the acquisition of other wind farms and determining the life status and the life expectation. But digitalization today also allows us in the early stages of the definition, the design of new wind turbines to actually validate these designs and make recommendations and make uh, the ability to actually configure those new designs without having to make major changes in the common engineering building blocks or the overall designs. So really throughout the complete spectrum, the, the complete life cycle of uh, wind turbines, we can see digitalization having major contribution if, again, you are combining to some extent data science as well as material science. You're right, the cybersecurity is a major concern. It really covers uh, all, as well a very wide spectrum of the entire digitalization effort with additional digitalization, F, uh, um, with additional digitalization increase in the industry, there's obviously much more exposure mm -hmm. to this uh, uh, potential cyber attacks, no doubt about it. And it is something that overall the industry will have to face, like uh, it has faced uh, in other industries as well in the energy uh, sector. What it is clear, however, is in the spectrum of asset optimization, there are many solutions already available that uh, cybersecurity no longer presents a threat. Uh, you have the cases, for example, with AWS, where you have uh, platforms that avoid those kind of risks already. Also, the, having the FMUs allow you to preserve your IP, your IP vault, from actual uh, cyber attacks. So there is, again, on the commercial space for all the operational aspects, from all the, uh, let's say, uh, management of your data, uh, there is already off-the-shelf solutions. It is, however, a fact that we need to continue advancing as part of any material process in the energy sector. There is several. Uh, it is clear that there are other industries that have very much evolved uh, thanks to digitalization. 
And one of the evolutions I would like to see is our leaders uh, in the industry start seeing what other industries are doing. If you think about it, uh, what we have in the energy industry and the wind specific industry is uh, more or less a valuation of 160 billion for 2023, 24, if I'm not mistaken. When you look into digital companies today, their valuations, we're talking about 70 billion for Amazon. We're talking about 60 billion for Uber, 30 billion for Airbnb. So there's truly a lot of uh, cross-pollination, a lot of know-how that can be brought into, and this is what I would like to see as well, some of that best practices, some of that knowledge being brought into the wind energy. What for? To make it faster and more up to date. And it's a question really of survival. There are companies that will need to be looking into this no matter what, because otherwise they will be taking over. They will be taking over by the competitors, or guess what? They will be taking over by newcomers, like the ones I mentioned earlier. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, the view we have from digitalization is far away from just an IT area. What we're looking into is uh, digitalization as a tool, a tool of enhancement of performance, a tool of enhancement of operational excellence, of economical value of a company. What you would expect to see in Hamburg, therefore, is to understand best practices from other industries. Like what one mentioned is how can we cross-pollinate from companies like Airbnb or Amazon or, or Uber that have embraced digitalization in sectors that nobody ever thought about before. We want to see also and share in Hamburg, for example, what are specific uh, cost reduction initiatives you can get and obtain and measure because only what is measurable can be changed and improved. So how can we really extract value, cost reductions and revenue enhancers out of digitalization? Well, uh, as an organization and obviously personally, I would like very much to have contributed to continue lowering the leverage cost of energy. Uh, it is clear that many of us who are in this industry are for a good reason uh, and a purpose reason. So I can see digitalization, sentient playing a key role about this. Um, I can see as well uh, as a consequence that we will see much, many more wind turbines in the world manned with much fewer people. That is, thanks to digitalization as well, our contribution is the ability to optimize and become more efficient. So therefore having many more turbines operated by much less people necessary, which ultimately as well significantly improves the health and safety of all the employees in the field. Ultimately, what I also expect to see very candidly, is many more offshore wind turbines, both in China and in North America.